Uh, Sifu, I want us to talk about the Haiti deployment before we come into the IBC. We are seeing yes. the president, the court has said that we can't deploy our police officers as it is. The president speaking in Italy yesterday said that he only needs a direct communication from the Haiti government. Many people are questioning which government will be requesting for the police officers and we're going to deploy the police officers anyway. Are we seeing a situation where the government is simply just ignoring court orders or what is going on? Yeah, first let me say that uh, uh, the president is not infallible. Uh, I remember the story of uh, uh, the king being naked and all the old men around him praising him and saying, oh, you have very beautiful gowns on. And it took a child, it took a child to tell them, guys, this guy is naked. So this guy is throwing around age as if age is a, a disadvantage for us so that, oh, you address your elders with respect. If the elder is naked, you have a responsibility to say, Mze, you are naked. The president is a human being. He's not infallible. He can tell lies. And I give you a very basic example. The road number C41 that passes outside my rural home is a rough road. There was a contractor that was given a, the business of doing the road years ago and it was never done. And I suspect Vara knows that contractor. The one day, Ruto stands up and says, that road is now complete. And it passes outside my house. I can look outside my window. I can see the road is not done. What do you call that? They want me to look for euphemisms and say, oh, it's a misdirection. It's a misnomer. It's a... No, you call it for what it is. Number two, the, 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 the constitution, you know me, I, 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 I am living, I am living under this constitution longer than I lived under the Kanu constitution. And this is the document I always go to for protection. The limitations to the right of expression under Article 33 do not include speaking to elders with respect. If the elder is wrong, you tell the elder that you are naked, you are wrong on this one. On the question of Haiti, Mungatana says we don't participate in debates. I dare Mungatana to print out debate, ha the Hansard report on debates on cr critical bills, critical matters before the House, and if he has debated more than me, I'll pay him 100,000 shillings. He hasn't, because even on the question of Haiti, the deployment of Haiti, the members of parliament from ODM, the members of parliament from the opposition, on the Hansard, told the nation that this was wrong because the constitution, when it speaks about the forces that can be deployed outside, it only talks about the defense forces. The constitution goes ahead to describe who the defense forces are that can actually be deployed. We as ODM put out a statement on the same and said all previous deployment of forces outside were for the armed forces. We do not have a police force anymore although they want to recreate it. We have a police service. The constitution speaks of deployment of the police service within the bounds of Kenya. There is definition of the bounds of Kenya. It constitutes the 47 counties as defined in the schedules to the constitution. So when we told them, this, all these things are there. We debate in the House of uh, Parliament, Mungatana and his crew are waiting for put the question. They are there. In fact, he says we run away from uh, debate. But the ones, By if you look at just they a are out. That's By a three o'clock, they are out. Trevor, you see the beauty with parliament. Uh, who, the beauty with parliament is that our proceedings are broadcast live. Yeah. You have the answered for uh, further corroboration if you need. If you see what these guys do, when there is a bill before the house, that they know they can't contribute because they will offend their masters, that they can't vote against because they have been given instructions. They all go to the lounge. So at the lounge there, they're just drinking tea and mandazi, waiting for the speaker to oh, put no, the question. No, 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 no. So Treba, when the Treba, question Treba, is no, put, let's not have no. this kind of... they walk away, but so they is, say uh, that you are... They let walk me speak. away. Just count let me speak. They they walk away. Mungatana, I allowed you to speak <laughs> quietly. Just <laughs> let me speak. accusing each other. Now, when they come, even, even now, Mungatana cannot guarantee that old man there that if the views of the old man are not incorporated in that bill, as the Constitution requires, that he will vote against that bill. He can't. And he knows it is a fact. So if you say that I do not participate in debates, you have to tender evidence and I have challenged you. Bring the answer for the, the past one and year. Edwin Sifuna was not named the best senator last year because of keeping quiet or running away from debates. Will you talk about the amendments you proposed in Turkana? I had more amendments proposed in Turkana than you did. And it was not even the social protection bill. It was the community health promoters bill. Yes, and it was the first time. 
and the, the majority leader, yeah. uh, Aaron Cheruyot, it was the first time we agreed with him that let people bring amendments and let these amendments be debated and voted on in depending on how the people, the, the, the senators view it. When we came to a more critical one that is actually an, uh, before the courts right now, the one on social health insurance fund, they rejected all amendments. For instance, I brought an amendment. I, all these things are there. There is evidence. I brought an amendment to that bill to protect the people who are currently working for the NHIF to make it automatic that once you transition to the new regime, people will not lose jobs. And I had a reason because we are being told on a daily basis that if you're not a shareholder in this government, you have no stake. So they want essentially to throw out the people who are there to bring in shareholders. It is a key concern. Ask Mungatana what he voted, how he voted on that amendment. He voted no because of instructions from the uh, state house. I stayed until the amendments were done. So, Mungatana, please, don't lie to the country because you don't have the evidence to back up your claims. On this Haiti thing, when the president stands up and he says, it doesn't matter what the courts say, I am going to do it. Again, the question I ask myself, what is this thing that Ruto is going to gain from this deployment in Haiti? Because it doesn't make sense to anyone else. It doesn't make sense to ordinary Kenyans. It doesn't make sense certainly to the courts. The courts have declared it an unconstitutional move. Why is he insisting? I cannot think of any other reason other than pecuniary interest. And it will emerge in the fullness of time. You will see that this deployment was not done in the interest of the people of Kenya or in the interest of the people of Haiti. It is private pecuniary interests, which will emerge later. Okay, Mungadana. Can, 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 can I just say, can I just say, can I just say, no, 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 no,